Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Italy, episode number 26. Wait, 27? Anyways, it's a continuation of the fleet battle. Um, I, we're going to try to push in here. We're going to try to secure a few more kills if we can get these Morangos, the other stuff. I mean, we, we might as well go for it, right? We just need to watch out for their destroyers because in this very low visibility environment, if we keep our um, ships together, we'll have massive superior firepower, and they've kind of dispersed. They're not in tight formation. So as long as we maintain our battle formation, we can just pelt individual ships, hopefully without um, getting hit by... We just want to keep the odds in our favor, despite the fact that we're way outnumbered in terms of actual capital ships. I cannot believe that both of those missed. I cannot believe that, but that's fine. The Duquesne has taken a lot of hits already. Heavy damage. Basically, we need to turn away from her extremely quickly. And this is what I'm worried about. Okay, because, you know, torpedo range is... Ex is quite large at this point. Um, so we want to attack the Dreadnoughts, but not the Destroyers. Or at least we want our Destroyers to attack their Dreadnoughts. I mean, we don't want their Destroyers to attack our Dreadnoughts. <laughs> yeah, like, which is pretty obvious. But Okay, the Viscato is actually taking some heavy gun hits. Let's pull her back. Maybe the Africanus gets involved there. I don't know. We'll probably follow up north. Okay, Dreadnought being hit by the Africanus. They're coming in. All right. Fair enough. Launch torpedoes when you want. Africanus will be here to absorb that. Um, in fact, let's focus down that direction instead, I see. So let's pull this way. Ah, wrong target. That's why. Okay, so wow. We, we pummeled this thing. The Pontieri is the one getting pelted by the Marengo, which is fantastic. A nice decoy. We're putting a lot of fire on the Duquesne. I'm not going to worry about her. I think we can safely assume that she's going down. So let's start pushing into this middle gap area. We have to be a little bit careful, obviously, about their escorts, but this is a Dreadnought. Okay, so let's take a look. Avoiding torpedoes. That's probably from the Duquesne. No, it can't be because the Chibo Glorioso is avoiding torpedoes. Oh man, it's uh, it's, it's carnage over here. Right, we really ought to sort through this. Okay, Tarmina, that's the retard who earlier launched torpedoes right at us. This is definitely a dreadnought fleet, though. So we oh, we need so we need support. We need support. You're coming back. The Marengo is drifting this way as well. We're we're going to get into a tricky situation here. Okay, so we are at least hitting this one. Twelve inch, six inch, six inch, two six inch. And then we're pounding the Duquesne again. Uh, that's good. It'll keep her suppressed. Maybe even light her on fire. She's already lost her rear turret. So she's not in good shape. And we know that she took a torpedo with hit as well. So if she keeps limping or, you know, darting around at max speed, she's probably just going to increase her flooding situation. Now, these guys were only going over here to make sure we didn't have to put up with destroyers, which we don't know where they are. We see some down here. So we'll pull this way. Okay. That's a destroyer. How are we going to handle this? We'll pull back, and the Marcus will come in. That's a bad angle for torpedoes, but this is, as soon as they pick left or right, and we pick left or right, it's going to be a bad situation for us. So let's just get that over with as quick as possible, try to avoid the torpedo death that surely would otherwise be coming. Um, we'll have this light cruiser group. I don't want them to get too far away from the action, but just because we can't go right next to the Duquesne, I don't want to give her an opportunity to open up a broadside against us. We'll push wide, unfortunately. Might also give us another opportunity to um, torpedo her. <clears throat> yes, and then obviously getting our strategic dreadnoughts involved, which are basically our best dreadnoughts, so not really strategic dreadnoughts, as someone already pointed out in the comments. Yeah, we'll try to do this. Oh yeah, and I'm pulling up because again, I gotta go away from that. Okay. Tarmine is just getting ripped to shreds, but there's really nothing we can do about that. Africanus is actually launching torpedoes. Where are you launching torpedoes at? A minesweeper? Not ideal. Definitely not ideal. And that, I think, is pretty obvious that they are going to be doing more or less the same to us. That's why I'm trying to transfer, basically juggle aggro here to use, like, <laughs> online gaming terms. Uh, MMORPG. Okay, so Il Leone de Venezia. A regular ship shouldn't really be involved this close, but is taking a, taking a few hits from their dreadnought. A lot of hits, turns out. 
Taromina is still taking hits herself. She's gotten free to... I mean, we, she's basically separated from the group. That's a good thing. Let's pull her this way. And we got the Duquesne again. Okay, very good. You're going to pull this way. Shoot. I want you to pull off from the line. These, like, are going to collide. I don't understand. This one should pull back north, which is what I want them to do. And that torpedo might actually find his target in the end. Hopefully not over here. <laughs> okay, so this is a mess. <laughs> Nobody would argue. Okay. Um, all right, we start circling back. Circle back for this dreadnought. Circle over for this dreadnought. So everyone's going to be taking turns on this dreadnought. That's the that's the target now. Even you. I don't know if you have any torpedoes left. You don't. Okay, then you know what? I'm going to take you off AI control. What the heck? What's going on here? Okay, did that work? No. Well, whatever, just hopefully go home. These are all the corpses that remain. Um, okay. Damn it, she did pursue. Oh no! Oh, that's frustrating. We have to come back down because we have to pull this dreadnought back up as well. And there's lots of torpedoes in the water, even on our side, so we know that there's a lot on their side. That Duquesne is surely going down. And this Requin did take hit. This is, oh, this is it. This is their huge one. Just took a, a huge torpedo hit. And we've gotten to the to the side of her that I wanted as well. This is probably another Requin. I, this Tower Mina, I mean, just, if you can, get the hell out. <laughs> just get the hell out. We want at least one of our new light cruisers to make it. And with the Vescato pursuing a 14-inch gun ship, I'm not sure if that's a a recipe for success. The Duquesne is going to sink. And we gotta get out of here. We 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 are gonna overstay our welcome if we're not careful. Um yes, you guys are actually good though. I want you to be here. I want you to pull up. You've done your job, so pull back. Oh, that's a whole nother set of just dreadnoughts. And it's starting to show that we're we're gonna take some real damage here unless we're very careful. True is getting pummeled by what looks like another oncoming battle line of dreadnoughts. So, how do we handle this? Look, let us not forget the Bascado. She was a brave, noble ship. And just always we shall remember her contributions to this battle when she bravely charged the dreadnought line and hopefully ends up scaring them away. We still need to pursue this Dreadnought, though. I mean, um, okay, yeah, yeah, something like this. Oh, Chiba Glorioso. Okay, that's probably not the end of her. Woo, that is not on the same time. It's not looking good, is it? Let's pull you off, try to pull you to the north. Okay, so Vascado is actually going to do her job well. She does only have one starboard torpedo, maybe, if we're lucky. She uses it well. Okay, so let's see. We're destroying some destroyers. Well, I mean, that works both ways, I guess. But no hits for us this turn. This is a bad turn for us otherwise. Oh, God. Atria is just getting wrecked. Hmm. They're firing basically through our light cruiser. Um, yeah, actually, they destroyed her turret. She's on fire. She's in very, very bad shape. These are strategic dreadnoughts. I need not remind anyone. <laughs> what I mean by that, because again, they're not acting as strategic dreadnoughts right now. It's just they weren't really meant for this role. <laughs> Oh, wow, we hit... We did! The Vescato! 
The Fascado just before it was destroyed launched her last torpedo. Her last starboard just torpedo. I mean, that could be huge. Tarmina, you've... Okay, both starboard sides have just been launched, so we need a, a port side if we're going to continue with the fight there. Actually, the Africanist should be close enough, and she is, to be doing the damage we want. That's already taken a torpedo hit. So we just need to pull the Atruria off. The Marcus, uh, Marchius Agrippa, you have to go and basically cover for the Atruria, give her an escape avenue. Same with everyone else and the um, Chibo Glorioso. And boy, the Etna, you're just a little bit late to the party. What in God's name is the... Oh, she doesn't have a working rudder. She's still jam center. Just plowing right through the battle because she can't move. And Vescato's just getting pummeled here, but that's that's to be expected if we're lucky. Okay, we just got to pull off. We have to disengage. I'm going to hope... Oh, man! What is up with the flash fires? Good lord, man! Oh my gosh! I, I'm. This might be the end of the Italian playthrough, by the way. We made. We rolled our, our dice. I don't think it was a wrong decision to do this. But the... I mean, the consequences are just... Horrible. They're just horrible. Okay, can you get out, though? You are launching your last two torpedoes, so just pull back after this. And Prospero and Corte Reale will pursue, I guess... You, I think, have some port side. Oh, no, the starboard side, so I'd have to get to the other side. It's going to be difficult considering she's taken a... But this ship is actually almost... Should almost be inactive in terms of ability to damage. All right, so we're pulling off. We'll see what the results of the damage about everything is here. Yeah, you get the hell out of here. You actually keep pursuing this ship a little bit longer, if we can. Okay, yeah, things are, are starting to clear out here. Um, who is this that I have? Ah, yes, this is Quirtier Rally. So you actually pursue these guys. I'll have some crisscrossing going on here. And Leone, as soon as she has the ability, will um, change her direction. In fact, we'll just get her to leave the area entirely. She's taking a few hits. Shiba Glorioso has that flooding doing. We should be able to survive one torpedo hit. Not going at this clip, but hopefully we can slow down and do it. We're going to have you cut back, just launch that last port side torpedo, basically. And then we'll we'll disengage with you as well. Aturia, you uh, might just make it. You might just make it. Get you to cruise, and we're going to slow down. And Basically, we need to do a number with the, like, the ships like the Etna are going to have to run circles over to the west so that the ships can flee to the east up north and then back to the west. In fact, we might even just make for Napoli. Crazy, crazy fight. Come over, put a little bit more pressure. Come on, launch your torpedoes, launch your torpedoes. I know you have them, I know you have them, you can do it. Let's try one little trick. We're given enough of a... Oh, she did it. She's good. She was, we were given enough of a broadside that it was already fine. But okay, so let's pull off. If this torpedo hits, I should say let's pull off. And let's definitely pull off with these guys moving east. This is the Vascato. Etna will cover. Chibo Glorioso. She's doing okay. I think we'll be able to save her. Uh, did it miss? Oh my god. God, it just went right through her. But she's dead stopped. Is she? She's going through. Get out of here. She's sinking. She's sinking. Leave. Leave, 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 leave. And you are going to cover for them. So just go ahead and, well, cover. Prospero, head back this way. Pull off. Pull off. Okay, so let's start slowing down. Speed increases flooding. This is the kind of stuff I want to avoid. That's not too terrible, though. And we need to get them out of here still. 
So basically, the Etna has to go and just show her courage. Glorioso limiting flooding. All right, let's start. I think it's finally time we can start cutting down. We don't want to go stopped yet, but I'm going to go down, let's say, to nine. And uh, just try to drift away from the carnage here. And now a lot of these ships are ours. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight destroyers of ours. Nine. We've lost nine destroyers. We sank two. And maybe three. Who knows? Wait. There's another ship there? Okay, first of all, deploy smoke. Get the hell out of here. And then we'll cut them off. down then and the regulus is actually okay so she's also gonna have to screen okay so Chibio Glorioso let's just get all these ships to go basically the same speed um, which is gonna be eight In fact, what I'm going to do here is detach the Etruria so I can get the Lombardi to do stuff as I wish. Okay, come back. Eight. Actually, you're going to roll you north because that's where most of the ships I need. Yep, that's them. Oh, crap. I thought they were heading uh, south. Okay. Is this far enough away yet? I don't think so. It's pretty close, in fact. As soon as it's daytime, it will actually be back visible. So yeah, we're going to have to push out at a, a speed of 8. Basically, let's just go 90, pure east. 91 is fine. Lombardi will help. Okay, boy, if the Etna survives this, it'll be a story to tell. Yeah, and the Regulus. Okay, this is the sinking ship already. I'm not going to bother with her. No need. Okay, the fire was reduced by damage control. I always thought six knots was like the same. I mean, okay, let's be honest. Eight, six, I doubt there's any difference. Spreads. Oh, there's another dreadnought here. We actually are firing at it. You know what? Let's. This one I think we can go for. It should be really isolated. And we have three ships, and we know that there can't be that many in this group. Yeah, we're going to pursue this one. We're going for it. We have three heavy ships, they have, well, maybe two? Ouch. Might be a bad idea, huh? Port thing here is launch your damn torpedoes. I forgot we had this option.
Fire your torpedoes! Okay, the Lombardi will come over as well. Do we have torpedoes in these? No, which is kind of unfortunate, but let's just get the Regulus out of here. We have kind of disengaged, and they will know that there's a battle going on here, the rest of the fleet, so they'll hopefully circle back this way and not engage my otherwise not in such good shape ships. They aren't ship shape. <laughs> Man, your rudder has been <laughs> damaged for so long. Okay, come back. Are you kidding me, Edna? You couldn't find a moment to fire there and all of that? Like, you deserve to be left here to die. All right, the Lombardi's gonna come over and hopefully finish the job for you, but it's really disappointing. Yeah, you, you're literally going to die because you, <laughs> you couldn't launch a damn torpedo. Is there anybody else who we can use? Uh, hey, Marchi I'm uh, Sorry, you were needed. You were needed. Come back. Regulus is not in any shape to fight. Not at all. Okay, so we'll actually slow her down even. She needs to get out first, and then she can slow down when she's by the other ones. So Marchi Sagrippa come back as well. Hopefully the Lombardi can take this one out by himself. Oh my freaking goodness! My goodness! Okay, we finally started to return fire. Thank God, because that was just... I was starting to really get concerned there that this thing was just going to mow down all our ships. Yeah, we're putting on the heat now. There we go. Okay, that's good. Let's let our light cruisers... Torpedoes fully loaded. Just come in, get the job done. How are you doing, Etna? If you don't sink from flooding, you actually might survive. I spit on my screen, I'm so excited. Boy, I wish I was I wish that wasn't a common occurrence, but they have uh, you know these uh what is this called? The uh, I don't know. Pop filter, that's what it is for the mic to keep you from spraying all over your mic, but they don't have that for your monitor. <laughs> I, need a, I need a spit screen. Alright, um, so you're going to make it back. You just reattach, so what we need to do is get this division to split the Regulus, then turn off her AI control. It's already been 22 minutes in this video. You go this way, squad max. Actually, let's leave her... I mean, cruise, that's not that bad. That's, that's fine. Regulus, go this way. Okay. Near miss on the Lombardi. Let's pull back. She could have torpedoes as well. Yikes. We just want... She's going slow enough that we want torpedoes to do the work for us. And that's where these guys come in. Regulus limits flooding. Let's turn back. Go slow. Take you down to eight as well. Um, we're far enough here that I think... Oh, shoot, they reattached, but that's fine. Just go down to nine. Ten? Ten. Okay, the Prospero's hitting now, but the main thing I want from you is... Torpedoes. Yeah, your damn fire. Okay, let's get these guys to go all stop. See if that helps. They're not going to make it back to port anyway. Okay, so that's that. Get this Lombardi to head back as well. You know what you need to do. You need to launch your torpedoes. What in God's name is going on with the Quartier Reality? I don't know. Look, launch your torpedoes. Are you kidding me? It's a dead target. It's... Thank you. Did you miss? 
He didn't. Okay, Prospero, if you have any speed left, I mean, it was worth it anyways to confirm that kill. We have another Dreadnought running us down, so Courtier Rally. That's probably the end of the Prospero. I don't want to take her back to the Etna. Oh my god. Almost a hit. You have two starboard sides. We'll prepare those. We're trying to get out of here, but basically I need you to engage... No. The unidentified ship. Yes. Okay, this is it for her. This is... <laughs> I, this is the moment where, if you're the captain of the Quartier Reale, you know that you're going down. So you might as well take somebody down with you. One more torpedo. Your best shot here. Okay, that's probably the Prospero. Actually, that was a port side from the Quartier Reale. That's not what I meant. We've reattached, which I don't want to do. And I'm going to put her to AI control just so I know when she can move again. And maybe we can survive. Let's see what happens. Well, that ship is sinking for sure. She has one port side torpedo left. Her max speed is 14. This thing appears to be coming after her. Let's just go for it. All right. Prepare to crew the life raft. Abandon ship. Abandon ship. Abandon ship. That does not look like a hit. It is not. All right, let's try to get out of here now. We're going to hide behind the Prospero if we can. No. Oh, boy. Okay, you got to get the hell out of here, buddy. Are they actually engaging the Prospero? Like, she know that's not... Th this would never happen. This never happens to me. Um, the thing I'm starting to complain about is just the fact that this Dreadnought seems to know that this Prospero is still intact while this Quartier Reality is sinking. I can never get my ships to correctly distinguish between the ships that are sinking or not. So th it's a little frustrating. This is what I would expect them to keep focusing on the, the, ship, the sinking ship. And that's what happens with my own ships. They do the same thing. Um, you can go down to zero. You can come back, I guess. I don't know. The Etna might survive, which is just kind of funny. No, 121, I doubt it. Let's keep her below 10. I kind of have an idea that that'll help. Well, the Prospero is just landing a few final blows on this Sulfurino. Unlikely to make a difference. I have no idea how this battle is going win-loss wise. Just zero. No, no idea at all. We've lost so many ships. For sure. Okay, there's the Prospero. So get the Edna out of there, basically. If this Sulfurino sticks around long enough, I'm going to hope that she actually um, uses up all her ammo on the Etna. I mean, on the Lom I mean, the Lombardi is going to come in. How damaged are you? Quite, unfortunately, but not a lot of flotation damage, which means I think that she would be able to um, use her guns effectively. You just have to keep limping and hoping that nobody finds you. Oh shit! Oh shit! They did. They did. They they attached. I was wondering why I thought that they were moving. Okay, Chivo Glorioso.
think we'll be okay there. Okay, here it is. Question now is, uh, well, we have to keep her away from the Edna. There we go. Two hits. Good. Fudge. She's gonna go after everyone. <laughs> okay, who, who was it? Marchius Agrippa, I think you had the ability to still fight. We're calling you in. Hey, okay, you. Not AI control. Just stay where you are. Exactly. Marchius Agrippa, you squad max to the west. Um, let's detach the Taramina and let's rely on the Vescato who I think now has well one torpedo honest to god the Taramino uh, top speed of 12 not going to be very good at launching anything these guys are both in terrible shape Taramina being in worse shape is going to be the one I keep here um, Etna you're about to leave them lead them to my Dreadnoughts, which is very, very bad. I'm gonna go five. I'm hoping at the, I did six before, remember, and it caused a problem. Let's do five, just to start limping away. Lombardi, get back over here, ASAP, basically. They are hitting it. Okay, but we are still hitting them. Yetna has changed directions. She's probably going to sink anyways. Oh my god, she might survive. I just need to get the Lombardi between the two ships. Oh, are you kidding me? This is just brutal how effective their damn ships are. If they come after my strategic dreadnoughts, I'll be so pissed. We haven't landed. Uh, there we finally landed a hit. All right, come on. Okay, go up and join the other sinking folk. It's all up to the Marchius Agrippa. Will she save the Etna in time? I don't think so. But it's everyone everyone has to contribute in this battle. The entire fleet is like limping it's just all over the frickin' Mediterranean. <laughs> so just get up here and we'll have you stop. You can control your fire and all that. We'll get the Marchius Agrippa to hopefully finish off this other ship over here. Okay, pause. Go down to eight, or let's say nine. Catch up a little bit. Let's get these guys back down to zero. Just make sure nothing happens. North. Oh my god, the Regulus attached again? This is so frustrating. Detach. Boy, this never gets old. All right. Last chance to determine this sh to who is my flag leader here? There it is. Chibo reattached? No, 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 no. See what they want to do? See what this, do you see this? Do you see this happening? Right before my very eyes, they're trying to sink themselves. Oops. Okay, Regulus. Vascado, you actually have torpedoes, so. Wow. Oh, that's the Vascado. That's not the one with torpedoes. The Taramina's the one with torpedoes. 
We'll get her to start limping towards the other ones just as an emergency measure. Let's turn back this way, see if we can get the ship. Which way is it going to go? Why is she going north? Please don't be going north to sink my other ships. Okay, she doesn't see us, so just pull away. Oh, fuck. <sighs> oh, well, just keep going, Edna. You might as well. Just keep limping away that way. If you're lucky, you'll avoid the fleet. In fact, just head that way. Okay, we have one more ship to deal with, please. This is so annoying that I have to do this every five seconds. It's just unreal. Like, unreal. Hopefully that's the last time I have to do that, for the love of God. We are launching torpedoes. Doesn't look like a hit. One moment. Okay, let's just try to finish off this battle quickly wish for all I mean I wish with all my might that I didn't have to fight this one dreadnought just trying to mess up all my plans we're just gonna try to sail away both ships go our own direction right They've actually lined up, so you know what? Forget it. It already happened, right? I'm not going to try to mess with it. Just let them stay stopped. Tarmina, you have only one... Says, you just have to come over and park yourself here as well. If they find us, we're just dead. <laughs> Long story short, if they find us, we're just dead. Mark, uh, the Regulus has one flooding. We might actually need to get her back to port. We'll sunder that way. And okay, yeah, now we'll just use the Marchius Agrippa as our scout to see when the end is coming. Wait, what the hell did you do that for? Come park yourself right here. Very good. Scotto, you might as well make a run for port kind of as well. And now we wait.
She's controlled her flooding. Let's just bring her to a stop. We're just going to hope that the vastness of the Mediterranean hides us. Ah, Taromino didn't make it. That's, that's really unfortunate. What? They're here? Are you serious? They actually went to my port. Cheeky bastards. Well, we have like... I need the... Okay, this is going to be kind of funny. I need the Vescado to keep this one sided so the Regulus can get into port with her one flooding. Because otherwise I think she sinks. So, <laughs> kind of a crazy event here. Do not leave the side of this ship, because if you do, it ends, and uh, the Regulus sinks. <laughs> Such an odd situation. Wait for the Regulus. Wait for the Regulus. Almost got him to go into that mines minefield. Not that they actually hit it. They go through minefields and don't get hit sometimes. It's kind of funny. Okay, should be almost over. Regulus, get into port. What do you, ah, there it is. Okay, good. Disengage. Oh my, what a battle. What a, what a freaking battle. And I, I have no idea how, if we have to win, lose, what is it? It's a major victory for us. Well, I don't know about that. We lost four light cruisers. Nine destroyers and one battleship to two dreadnoughts. I I'm literally I think I'm so mad. I'm so I am so mad. I think I want to not play anymore. <laughs> the Duquesne survived. Not mad, just doesn't seem possible. So we hit her 18 times with 12 inch guns, 26 times with 6 inch guns, and uh, scored that torpedo on her. I thought we actually hit her with two torpedoes. So Taumina hit her with a torpedo here. We hit the Duquesne like way early though. It was like at the very beginning of the combat. Somewhere it was like when our destroyers first went in. Probably around this time it should be a torpedo hit because it was before our battleships pushed in. Hmm. Well, that's just a blow. I mean, it's just a blow not to sink that. That that was a hundred percent. I thought for sure that was a sunk ship. Okay. Well, fair enough. We'll call this episode to a close here. I don't know what to do with this uh, battle report. Basically, having only lost one battleship is really good. Having killed two dreadnoughts is still good. The exchange was very favorable for us. We should be way ahead in terms of victory points now. We're losing still. Incredible. Incredible. Um...
I'm hoping this is our, it is. I'm so like upset by this one. I wanna wash the taste of that last one out of my mouth. Let's see what happens here. I don't know if these are actually light cruisers. Oh, they are. Okay, well, I want to pursue them, frankly. I want to be able to sink as much as I can before the torpedoes come in. So I'm gonna keep crisscrossing with them. I'm sure that we're sinking whatever we hit. Where's the nearest French port? I think they still make their way to the nearest French port. Let's uh, see what happens. Oh, we got our guns knocked down to 23. Now, is our speed 26? Okay, it is. Oh, unknown ship. Wait, was that the armored cruiser I was going for? Is this a light cruiser? Nice. We found it. We found it. Well, let's hope that this one doesn't miraculously survive. What? What good fortune. Come back. Come back. It's about to be in daytime. Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. No? Okay, that was my goal there, was to see if we could see her. And the sun came up. And we can't. Okay, fair enough, we'll go down to cruise speed. In fact, we'll just cruise back this way, because there's a chance that maybe we find them capturing, uh, like trying to loot the crew, raise the crew from the waves, for example. For example. Holy cow. We're hitting it, so <laughs> we should be slowing it down. There it is. Should be over now. Okay, good. So we actually were able to hunt down two of their uh, light cruisers. This was a much better ending to it. <laughs> okay, so finally our uh, Fortuna got involved. That was really nice. Um, we have the budget, we absolutely have to build something. I don't know, we haven't gotten better guns yet. We... We're doing our best though. We only have two things on high, ship design and, um, you know what? Kind of have most of the stuff we need from this too. I'll even put this down to medium. We just want naval guns. So another long episode. Hope you guys all are all happy about that, but <laughs> I'm gonna call it to a close here, so. Until the next one, thanks for watching and take care.